After winning two titles in three years, LSU had certainly placed itself among the elite of college baseball. But in the early summer of 1996, the Tigers were about to place themselves into college baseball legend and lore forever, capturing their third national title with the most memorable play and radio call in college baseball history. Second baseman Warren Morris launched a two-out, two-run homer in the bottom of the ninth inning to lift LSU to a pulsating 9-8 victory over Miami in the 1996 College World Series Final. The blast marked the only time in the 50-year history of the CWS that a team had won the national championship with a homer in the bottom of the ninth. As the ball cleared the fence, Morris raised his arms into the air triumphantly. And upon reaching home plate, he was mobbed by his jubilant teammates and cheered by 24,000 fans who had just witnessed the greatest finish in College World Series annals. The LSU Tigers, for the third time in six seasons, were the champions of collegiate baseball. Fittingly, it was the only home run of the season for Morris, who had missed 39 games due to a broken bone in his right hand. LSU became just the seventh school to win three or more CWS titles in the 50-year history of the event, and Skip Bertman became only the sixth coach to win three or more baseball national championships. The CWS title capped a long list of achievements for the 96 Tigers, including establishing an SEC record with 131 home runs on the season. The Tigers posted a 52-15 overall record, and LSU recorded a 20-10 SEC mark to win the league's regular season title. Shortstop Jason Williams became the SEC career leader in runs scored with 270. And he became LSU's all-time hits leader with 327. First baseman Eddie Furness, a first-team All-America selection, set the SEC single-season mark for RBIs with 103 and the LSU single-season home run record with 26. Pitcher Eddie Yarnell was also a first-team All-America choice as he posted an 11-1 record, including two victories in the College World Series. For the third time in six seasons, Burtman was named National Coach of the Year, an honor he received from Collegiate Baseball, Baseball America, and the American Baseball Coaches Association. LSU was number one in the grandstand as well as the Tigers led the nation in attendance by drawing a school record 226,805 fans to Alec Box Stadium. It was a remarkable season, culminated by one of the greatest moments in LSU athletics history, a decisive swing of the bat by Warren Morris, who added his name to the list of Tiger legends. How many of you can still recite the legendary call from Jim Hawthorne of Warren's home run? Well, without question, LSU became the benchmark for all of college baseball, which continues to this day. And every year that passes, the 1996 LSU Tiger baseball team's legend continues to grow. Thank you for taking this journey back on the road to Omaha and another college baseball championship presented by LSU Online. Until next time, this is Chris Blair. So long, everybody, and go Tigers.